I think it's often come with a lot of negative connotations. I think, I think I've relearned that word through Maria and Castadiva. <laughs> and I have a new relationship to it. And I, I think it is often other people's perception of a woman um, that defines sometimes too much who she is and who she was or what she intended. And I actually think she was one of the hardest working people um, who, who didn't uh, hurt anybody. I, it's hard to think of something she's done that was really, uh, you know, uh, so, so yes, I, th I suppose it's everybody in this room that makes that definition sometimes. But the true definition, maybe the composer, uh, the great composers define it differently. Pablo? <laughs> I lean on my director. <laughs> no, but because I, I, what, I, what I think is that whatever we think about a diva, a diva would never exist if there's, no, if there's not excellence in what she does. So first, you got to be really good at what you're doing, probably the best one, and then you can reach the other thing. It doesn't come. I don't know about any diva that does, is not great at what she does. So, and being a perfectionist, being someone really tough and disciplined, can create the sensation for, in others that, you know, Maria Callas would go to a rehearsal, and if any of the other singers would miss one word, she would leave. And then she became, you know, among other things, a diva. She was just tough with the work, and that's called discipline. And in opera, unlike in cinema, if you don't have discipline, you're out. <laughs>